We felt that we couldn't come to Tenerife without taking a trip up its famous volcano, Teide, or Pico del Teide. This volcano is effectively the cause of the island in the first place and is the third highest volcano in the entire world. Also, at 3,717 metres above sea level, it is the highest point of any island in the Atlantic. Depending on where the info comes from, the height varies within a couple of metres, but fair to say it dominates everything on the island. We booked a half day trip and set off on the day before we returned to the UK to spend an afternoon enjoying the change of scenery. The coach went up the steep climb from Puerto de la Cruz through the forest and over the rim of the Caldera. We passed through some small towns on the way. It was possible to see in the distance the island of La Palma, which not that long ago experienced an eruption of its own volcano in 2021. I need to point out that this video was mostly from the coach and we discovered that the glass created a tint to the colour of the video. This proved to be very difficult to get rid of, so we decided it would be best to leave it. There was a surprising amount of fauna and flora which thrive in the fertile volcanic land. Teede itself is a stratovolcano. This means that Teede is the cone volcano built up over a long time with various layers from explosive or effusive eruptions. There are other volcanoes forming this as well with several older cones noticeable on Tenerife and up here in the old caldera.
Lord really looked after us on this trip. We had some fantastic weather. Normally there is cloud surrounding the mountain, lower down, which can hide the view. The cloud is important as it provides the water for the island. The moisture condenses and seeps into the porous rock, which allows for it to be collected and piped down to the towns and cities. The cloud is formed from the trade winds carrying moisture off the Atlantic. On the steep side of the last part of the cone, there is a cable car. This takes visitors up nearer to the rim. It was here that we dropped off some who wanted to go up to the top by cable car. The altitude at the cable car station is already getting thin, and so the pressure is noticeable. Someone had a pack of potato chips on the bus, and it had swollen like a balloon. Then later, we stopped at the cafe and information centre and there, packs of snacks had also become very swollen. Close to the main peak is the smaller cone called Pico Viejo, which actually last erupted back in 1798. It left a black smear on the side where the lava settled and the last eruption on Tidi was actually in 1909 through the El Chiniero vent. The last eruption of the main vent is believed to have been in around 850 AD. We stayed with the coach and went round to a stop at a place where we could look up to see the Pico Viejo and also look over the south coast of the island and see the other island of La Gomera. Again, it was a large grey mass with clouds over the top. Because of this, I'm not sure if you will be able to see it in this video.
after the brief stop, we went on the coach to a landmark called La Roque del Garcia and walked about for a while. The coach moved to the cafe I mentioned earlier and so we walked back to the cafe and had a chance to look through the shop and information available there. at the cable car station to collect those who went up on it. Once everyone was settled again, we headed back out of the crater and the park. We retraced our route and headed back down the outside of the mountain. The journey back to our hotel was quite quiet and quick. We were the last drop off and so we even saw more of Puerto de la Cruz on the way.
We are Rod and Mariana. This is the fourth and final video in our Tenerife series. We hope you like it. If you have enjoyed it, please click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of our videos.